if you know of anything else, please let me know about it because I'm totally open to changing my mind, but I really have not seen a single exchange that's better than this Gemini strategy. What's up YouTube, Ish Borat, back at it again with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you definitively the single greatest way to buy Bitcoin in 2021. Not only is it with a safe, reputable company, Gemini, it also has the lowest fee structure of any exchange that I've ever seen. And the best part is it's fully automated. Once you set up the steps that I'm gonna show you in this video, it's gonna do all your Bitcoin buys for you or any cryptocurrency pair that Gemini offers. It's gonna manage all of your completely free, no on-chain transaction fee withdrawals. You're just gonna have to set up an AWS account and a Gemini account, all of which we go through in this video. And then you're gonna be set up automatically buying Bitcoin on whatever schedule you wanna do. You wanna do it daily? I got you. You wanna do it hourly? I got you. You wanna do it every week? You wanna do it every month? You wanna do it every year? You wanna do it every Friday in April? You can do any of these things. So stay tuned, watch to the end of the video, and all of this will be yours. Smash the like button and let's get started. All right, so here we are in Gemini.com and we're gonna look at the different fees that they offer. So first we're gonna look at the mobile and the web fees just to show you what you shouldn't be doing here. So if you look at this web fee schedule, you can see that you're paying a $1 transaction fee on any order less than $10, which $1 on $10, that's already a 10% fee. And then it scales all the way up here to 1.49% of your web order value if you order more than $200, which is lower than like Cash App, but it's not really great for an exchange. She should really be avoiding ordering Bitcoin from Gemini on just the normal web fee schedule. Additionally, if you look at the mobile fee schedule, it's basically exactly the same. So again, $1 on $10 and up to 1.5% basically on $200. So you really don't wanna be buying from Gemini on a normal web order or on their mobile fee, you know, on their app. But if we come over to the API fee schedule, most of us are trading between zero and a million dollars. And so we're getting a 0.35% taker fee and a point. 0.1% maker fee. So already this taker fee of 0.35% is better than what you're gonna get on Coinbase Pro. But what we really wanna do is we wanna shoot for this 0.1% maker fee. And it's usually at this point when I talk about this API stuff that a lot of you guys go, F you red, I'm not gonna do this programming stuff. It's too difficult. I don't know how to program an API. I don't know how to access the API. So what I've done is I've written all the code for you and I'm gonna show you in the rest of this video how you can set all of this up for yourself, get that 0.1% maker fee. And then additionally, take advantage of the really great transfer fee schedule that Gemini has. So you can see here, all ACH is free, which is pretty standard at this point. You shouldn't be doing debit or credit card transfers. I don't even know if you can do credit card transfers, but you shouldn't be doing the debit card transfers here for 3.5%. That's a total waste of money. You're way better off just connecting your bank account and doing ACH. But then what's really big here is you can see if you make less than 10 withdrawals per calendar month, you can see that almost every and actually every single currency pair on here. So every single cryptocurrency, if you make less than 10 withdrawals is free. And you can also auto make this with your API. So I'm going to show you not only how to get this 0.1% maker fee, but also how to automate these transfers off of the exchange, off of Gemini and into your personal hardware wallet or into a wallet that you might have at BlockFi or a company like that. And this free withdraw fee is actually huge. And it's huge for Bitcoin just because you don't want to be paying those on-chain transaction fees if you can avoid them. But it's really big for stuff like Ethereum where the gas fees are so high that you, you know you don't want to be transferring Ethereum really at all because you're sometimes paying, you know, 5, 10, 20% of what you're transferring in gas fees, depending on how big the amount of Ethereum is that you're trying to transfer. Same thing with Ethereum derivatives and ERC20 tokens like Chainlink. It's really just not worth transferring those anywhere else if you can get this free transfer option from Gemini. All right, so what you're going to want to do first to set this up is you're going to want to go in Gemini, you're going to want to go to settings. And then once you're in settings, you're going to want to come down here to API programmatic access, and then you'll come up here to create a new API key. So now you'll come in here and you'll create a primary API key and you'll hit create a new API key. So here you can name it, you can name it Python DCA demo or whatever you wanna call it. And then you'll have this API key, which is your public key. And then you'll have this API secret, which is like a private key. So you're gonna wanna copy this and keep it somewhere safe. I'm just gonna dump both of mine into a sublime text file real quick. So again, this API key is gonna be your public key. And then this one down here is gonna be your private key. And you're gonna give it the trading permission and you're gonna give it the fund management permission. And then you're gonna confirm that you've copied and pasted your secret key here into a safe place and you understand you're not gonna be able to access it again. If you do lose it, it's actually really easy to come back in here and generate a new key. You'll just have to refollow these steps that I'm doing here. So if you do lose it, don't really worry about it, but you might have to come back to this video and watch it again to get 
this setup. So back in here, we're just gonna hit confirm and that's it, you've already set up your Gemini API. So next we're gonna go to the coding session. You're gonna take the code that I've written off this Notion web page that I'm gonna show you in a second and you're gonna just put that in AWS and it's gonna automate everything for you. So now over here, you can see this public Notion page that I'm gonna have. If you want the link for it, it's gonna be down in the description. So you're gonna click that link and come to this page. You're gonna download this Gemini layer zip. You just save that on your desktop for now. And then you're just gonna leave this tab open and you're gonna head over to AWS. So if you don't have an AWS account yet, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go sign up for one. And then once you come to this screen here, it's very overwhelming at first, but just stick with me. You're going to come into compute and you're gonna click on Lambda function here. It's actually just called Lambda on the thing, but here are the functions. And then you're not going to have any functions here yet, but you're going to click on layers and you're going to hit create layer. And I'm going to just call this uh, Gemini demo. And then you're going to upload that zip file that you just took from the Notion page, Gemini layer zip. And then you're going to hit run times and you're going to hit Python 3.8. If you want to have a description, this allows you to access Google Sheets plus the Gemini API and you can hit create. So just wait a minute and you should be good to go. So up here, you'll see it says successfully created layer Gemini demo version one. Perfect. So you're gonna come back up here to Lambda and then you're gonna to go to functions. And so now let's write a, just a basic buy Bitcoin function. So if we hit create function, we're gonna do author from scratch and we're gonna call it a buy Bitcoin demo. You're gonna come down to runtime and again, you're gonna hit Python 3.8, which should be up here, create function. You're gonna click here into Lambda function. And here's the place that you're gonna copy and paste your code. So you're gonna delete what was here. You're gonna come back over to the Notion webpage. You're gonna copy this buy Bitcoin function and then you're just gonna paste it here. The first line should be import JSON. Just in case you copy anything, you know, you shouldn't be copying buy Bitcoin from Gemini. It should look just like this. So then you're gonna take the public and private keys that you generated in the last segment of the video. So you're gonna in here, private key, that secret, you're gonna put there. And then this public key that you generated should start with account. You're gonna paste that here. And so then if you hit deploy, that's going to deploy your code up to AWS. It's not going to run the code, so you don't have to worry about that. And then down here, you're gonna to wanna to click add a layer and you're gonna choose custom layers and your layer that you just created, that Gemini demo should show up right here and you're gonna click version one and you're gonna hit add. And this is basically just allowing you to import the Gemini API package into this AWS computer basically that's hosted in the cloud. And this is gonna allow this function to run correctly. And so then the only other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do here, I've had problems with this in the past, is you're gonna to wanna to come up to configuration and you're gonna edit and you're gonna change this timeout to like 30 seconds instead of three seconds. And then you should be good to go. So you'll see here in the buy Bitcoin function, you want to be careful with hitting test because you'll see here that the buy Bitcoin function is going to try to buy $20 of Bitcoin. And so as soon as you fill out your public and private key, you're going to want to really make sure that you only want to hit test if you actually want to buy $20 of Bitcoin. If you don't want to buy $20 of Bitcoin, you can hit zero here and you'll be safe to test. All this logic is doing here is creating a maker order, right? Because we wanted to create a maker order to get that lower fee. So it's creating a maker order and it's creating a maker order at just below the current price of Bitcoin. So 0 0.999 times 0 0.997 times the current price of Bitcoin. And so you're basically getting a taker order. You're very close to the current price of Bitcoin. You're basically making a spot purchase, but your order might not fill for about a day if Bitcoin just goes up all day. But as soon as it comes down, it will fill your order. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna hit test and I'm gonna show you what it does over in Gemini. So if we hit test here, we're gonna hit create test case. You can just accept the blank one. You don't have to name it something, you can name it demo, create. So now if you hit test, you should see here that it worked. Here's the output. And then if you go over to Gemini, back to the exchange, you'll see that we just created a 0% filled $20 maker order. And so that's exactly what the script does. It goes over to Gemini and it creates an order for about $20. This one was $19.98 because you are gonna end up paying that two cents in fees. And so that's what this math here does. It makes it so that the total order inclusive of the fees is equal to $20. Okay, so now what we've done is we've allowed ourselves to buy Bitcoin this one time with whatever amount of money that we chose once we filled out our public and our private keys. But now how do we automate this? How do we do this every single day without having to touch it? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna come up to AWS here in the top left. Once you're on the screen, you're gonna wanna come down to management and governance. You're gonna wanna click on CloudWatch. And so then over on the left, you're gonna hit rules. And this is where you can automate any screen script that you've already written. So if you come up here and you hit create rule, you're gonna to wanna to click on schedule. And so then if you wanna run this every five minutes, you're gonna be buying a lot of Bitcoin. So most people are gonna to wanna to do this on a day schedule. And so you could do this every one day, you could do this every 10 days, whatever you want, you can just put it in here. 
I'm gonna leave it at one day for now. And then if you do want to get more specific, maybe you wanna do it every Friday at 1 p.m. or every Friday of April at 1 p.m. or once a year on your birthday, you can come into Cron Expressions here and you can write your own custom Cron Expression and run it at whatever time of day on whatever day you want. And if you need help writing a Cron Expression, you can click this little tiny learn more link here and that's gonna show you the different values here that you can have for a Cron Expression. I'm gonna leave some popular cron expressions in the description. So maybe if you wanna buy once on the 15th and once on the 30th, maybe those are the days that your paychecks hit. I'll leave that in the description and I'll leave a couple other popular cron timings in the description as well. But if you do want something a little more custom or unique to you, you can come here and fill out your own cron expression. You'll know that it will have worked because this cron expression field will show you the different timings of when your script will next run. So it'll look something like this. So this is going to be once a month on the 11th at 0000 GMT. And so this is helpful because it will let you know if you wrote your cron job correctly. For now, I'm gonna just leave it at fixed rate of days. And this fixed rate of days is probably gonna be good enough for most people. So then over here on target, you're gonna click target. You're going to select the buy Bitcoin demo function that you just wrote. And you're gonna hit configure details. And you're gonna call this maybe like demo Bitcoin buy schedule and you're gonna create rule and that's it now you're done so this demo by bitcoin schedule is gonna run once a day and it's gonna run that script that we just wrote together in the last step and the way that you're gonna be able to get real-time feedback on whether this is working or not is if you go to your email address that you have associated with gemini you're going to see the limit orders that you place as they come in so these are some of the limit orders that i placed while i was doing the demo for this video it's important again that these are limit orders because that's what's going to allow you to get this 0.1 percent fee for the maker side as opposed to the 0.35% spot taker fee. If you don't think that your limit order is ever gonna hit, you can just come over to this cancel button right here in status. You can hit cancel and cancel your order. Most of the time though, your limit order will definitely fill within the day. I'd say I've only had a couple cases where it spills over to the next day. And then always on that next day, it's filled for me every time. So this is really it. Once you've automated your script here in CloudWatch, you basically never have to touch this again. It's just gonna run every single day. If you did wanna stop it, you'd have to come in here and you know click this and do actions and disable or delete. So it is really easy to just come in here and mess with this now. And then if you do want to do any of those other scripts that are listed in Notion, it's the exact same steps. You're going to want to just come back to AWS. You're going to go over to Lambda. You're going to make a new function. You're going to always do Python 3.8. You're going to name it. Maybe you want to do withdraw now. So withdraw demo author from scratch, create function, come back over to Notion, grab your withdraw code for Gemini, copy that, come back over here, delete what you had, paste in the function, paste in your public key, paste in your private key. For the withdraw function, you're gonna wanna paste in a Bitcoin and an Ethereum address. If you aren't trying to withdraw Ethereum, you can just delete this line and delete this Ethereum line. So it would just look like this if you were doing Bitcoin. And then if you only had one withdraw address that you wanted to pick, you would delete these and just put your withdraw address there. And then again, you're gonna come down to layers. You're gonna add the layer that you added at the very beginning of the video. So once that layer is attached, you're gonna hit deploy and then test should withdraw your Bitcoin to whatever address you put down here. If you're getting any problems with timeouts, you're gonna to wanna to come up into configuration and change this timeout from three seconds again to 30 seconds. And then if you wanna automate it again, back to CloudWatch, you would come back to rules and you would just make a new rule. And you can put this on whatever schedule you want, right? You could do this once every seven days. And then that's gonna allow you to get those 10 free transfers every month. And that's where cron expressions are gonna be really valuable for you. You're gonna be able to make sure with cron expressions that you're never doing more than 10 transfers a month, which again is completely free for any coin that you buy on Gemini. I'm actually really interested to hear from you guys if there is anyone that thinks that this is not definitively the best way to buy Bitcoin. Maybe if you're a day trader, I get it that this is not for you maybe. But if anyone is out there and they think that they have a better way to buy Bitcoin over the long term, I really want to hear about it in the comments. I truly believe that there is no strategy that's better than this. The transfer fee just blows every other exchange out of the water by itself. You're just not paying the on-chain transaction fees. If you know of anything else, please let me know about it because I'm totally open to changing my mind, but I really have not seen a single exchange that's better than this Gemini strategy. If there are any questions about this, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. I do respond to all the comments. So if you do get stuck at any point or if anything I said or did in the video was confusing to you or if you're having any problems, definitely leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So that's it for today. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, 
smash the like button. It really helps out the channel and it's gonna allow other people to see this video. I think this video is gonna help out a lot of people. If everyone could get automated Bitcoin purchases all the time, I think the world would be a better place. And I think right now there's no better place to do that than Gemini. Subscribe for more tech money and success videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all. Goodbye.